Hello my fellow creators, for all intents and purposes, my name is CubeState, artist of the mixed media variety, and today I wanted to briefly share a fix with you for AMD Wattman settings resetting after a reboot of your computer. If you've seen my previous video that talks about getting your AMD graphics card fan spinning through Wattman, then you'll find this video to be just as helpful as this is the second problem I ran into after I figured out how to adjust the fan settings. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Before I get into the steps for fixing this, I'd like to demonstrate the problem. In order to demonstrate this problem, I had to recreate the problem. Teaser ahead, I installed MSI Afterburner and unticked the fast startup setting in Windows. If you're like me, you probably found that most people found the solution to their fans not spinning to be through the use of a program called MSI Afterburner. This didn't work for me but I did change the GPU fan settings through MSI Afterburner before I found the solution through AMD Wattman settings. So I had these changes made at the same time in two separate programs. This is a no-no. AMD Wattman and MSI Afterburner conflict with one another based on my experiences. So to recreate this so you can see, we'll access Wattman by pulling up AMD Radeon settings from your PC select the gaming tab select global settings and finally global wattman here you'll find that wattman is in its default balance settings but we're going to make a change so here we'll move the slider to custom and scroll down until we find the zero rpm setting we're going to switch that to off and hit apply now to demonstrate how Wattman resets after a reboot, we will reboot the computer. Be right back. As you can see, Wattman settings have reset themselves to balance. If you want your global Wattman settings to stop resetting themselves after your PC reboots, you must uninstall MSI Afterburner, assuming you have MSI Afterburner installed. If not, stick around for the second step of the solution. Next, if you don't have MSI Afterburner installed, the solution to your problem may be a simple setting in Windows. To access this setting, you will go to Windows Settings, then to System, then to Power and Sleep. Under the header Related Settings, select Additional Power Settings. Then in the left bank of options, select choose what the power buttons do. Here you will find shutdown settings, but first you must select change settings that are currently unavailable. Now go back to shutdown settings and untick turn on fast startup. After you've uninstalled MSI Afterburner and unticked turn on fast startup, reset your PC. Apply your Wattman settings and you should be good to go. You can reset one last time to see if the settings stick and if not you can curse me out in the comment section. This should solve the problem of your Wattman settings resetting after a reboot. At least this solved the problem for me under my circumstances. With that said and done I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching and Godspeed your return.